Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you're watching this video, wherever you are in this beautiful world. My name is Didi Taihutu. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show. For the newcomers, we are a family that literally sold everything they owned three and a half years ago. Their house, their companies, their cars, their bikes, their clothes, and went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, three and a half years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin price, starting with the hourly chart, zooming out to the four hour chart, zooming out to the weekly chart, zooming out to the monthly, the two month chart, and to Plan B chart. Also talking about a lot of new DeFi projects, talking about the Binance card, talking about Vitalik, talking about my health insurance, talking about freedom, our next destination as a family. And I will end the video with a little bit of education on, on wrapped bitcoins. Yes, wrapped bitcoins. I don't know if I pronounce wrapped white, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hi guys, let's take another jump into a beautiful place here in Spain. Whoop. Hi guys, welcome to another beautiful part here in this area, Alicante, where I'm walking every day, walking, talking about blockchain, Bitcoin and life. Let's jump into some Bitcoin charts because I want to see what is happening to the price. And yes, whatever these charts are showing you, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> another shirt that you can buy in our store yes I'm making some promotion for our shop in the last couple of videos because I need to sell more shirts because 25% again goes to charity and I want to start to support more and more charities all over the world let's jump into some charts let's start with a one hour chart BAM this one on this one hour chart you can see that we are trying to retrace to this 50% Fibonacci level and this level is around 11,700 when we break this we will go to 8,600 to 8,800 probably when this video is out we already reached 8,600 to 800 because you know it takes me some time to upload the videos like you saw on my tweet yesterday it took me more than four hours we will soon move to a new area in Spain where the internet speed is a little bit faster so I can push out these videos every morning again. But this 11,800 price to the 12,000 price brings me to the daily chart. This one, bam, on this daily chart, yeah, as you can see, that the next target is around 12,200 US dollar per Bitcoin. This is on the daily chart, every candle is a day. After 12,300 guys, we are going to focus on reaching 13,000 on this daily chart because you can see if you look to the left on the chart, you can see that these were the tops we already created in the past. We are going to see these tops again as a resistance. So that is why the targets on the daily charts are around 12,300 and 13,800. And yes, if you look to the bottom of the chart, you can see that the RSI is slowly curling up on this daily chart, which is positive. The RSI relative strength index is, is showing us that we are gathering friends in the bottom and curling up upwards to create another small run that will push us above this 12k level that we have been fighting for a couple of weeks, months already now. I didn't walk in this part of the valley yet, but this part is also a very beautiful part. As you can see behind me, beautiful backdrop, beautiful nature here in this part of Spain. Guys, and we and if we look at the daily chart, like we see, we can see the next targets at 13,800, first 12,300, then 13,800. I need to watch out where I'm walking. Yes, I'm walking on flip-flops again. I just love these flip-flops. I don't like shoes. So now let's take a look at the weekly charts. This one, bam! The weekly chart, guys, you can see, if you zoom out, if you, zoom out you can see that we have been creating higher lows continuously every time a higher low so every week has closed a scandal with a higher low we are now waiting for the next higher high the next higher high should be around 12,500 us dollar so if we will be able on the weekly chart to close a candle above 12,500 us dollar we have been creating higher lows and higher highs and if we keep creating these higher lows, these higher highs, the trend is still up. The moment we will start to create lower lows and lower highs on the weekly chart, 
the, te the trend will be down. And as long as the trend is upwards, I am still bullish and I will stay bullish because I think we can even take this upward channel all the way to 16K like you saw in yesterday's video and in all the videos the days before. So let's zoom a little bit more out. Yes, we like to zoom out of the charts. Let's take a look at the monthly chart. Bam, this one, the monthly chart. Oh, by the way, yesterday there was a guy that commented, Didi, can I use your wife's BAM from the other video um, as a short audio clip for my warnings in my trading app that something is changing? Of course, you are free to use all these BAMs whenever you want for the audio on your trading app to give you a warning that Bitcoin is going to BAM up or BAM down. <laughs> I love the fact that you're using my wife's BAM because indeed that BAM sounded more beautiful than my BAMs. <laughs> Yes, we were about to zoom out to the monthly chart. So let's zoom out to this monthly chart. Bam! On this monthly chart, you can see that we just closed the month. We just closed the month August and we opened the month September. This monthly close was around 11,650. And we opened September around 11,658. Yes, that is how fast Bitcoin is moving at the moment. Um, in a split of a second, it, uh, it moves up $3. But this closing candle of 11,655 is the second highest closing candle ever in Bitcoin. The highest closing candle is in, is in December 2017. I think that one was around 13,800-ish. Many of you now might say, now nah, did we reach an all-time high of 20K? Yes. So a small part of education for the newcomers. If you analyze candles, you can see the body of a candle. This is the thick green or red area. And you can see the wicks. These are the thin lines on top and on bottom of this body. These wicks, are creating the highs of the day and the lows of the day. But the day always opens and closes on a certain price. So the opening is the start of the body and the close is the end of the body on a green candle and in the red candle it's the other way around. The opening of that day, week, hour, whatever, is the top of the body of the candle and the close is the bottom of the body of the candle. So the green candles, the bottom of the body is the opening and the close is the top of the body and the red candles is the other way around. So that is why I'm speaking about closing candles and opening candles in certain zoomed out charts like months and weeks. So yes, it is the second highest closing candle ever in Bitcoin, which is really, really positive. If we would be able to close the next month higher than this month, so close above 11,600 US dollar per Bitcoin, let's say around 12K or 12,300 US dollar the next month, that would be again a huge indicator that also on the monthly trend, we can see this upward movement in Bitcoin. So very important, these monthly and also these weekly closing candles, because they are the ones to look at when you're an investor in the space instead of a day trader. And even if we zoom out a little bit more, let's take a chart, a two month chart, this chart was tweeted by Bitcoin Jack, uh, Jack, Bitcoin Jack Sparrow on Twitter. This one, bam, on this two monthly chart, so every candle is two months, we also created the second highest close ever in Bitcoin. Yes, again, December 2017 was the highest one, but now August 2020, again, the second highest close for Bitcoin ever on the two monthly chart, beautiful, beautifully found by Bitcoin Jack Sparrow. Thumbs up for Bitcoin Jack. I love his tweets. If you want to follow a person that is tweeting every day about Bitcoin and many other fundamentals in Bitcoin, please give a follow to Bitcoin Jack as well on Twitter. And the most beautiful part of all these zoomed out charts, I think always is the stock to flow chart created by Plan B. Even if we take a look at this chart, oh, I love this chart. This chart for me is like the Bible for religious people. <laughs> this chart is taking us up to 100,000 Bitcoin price next year. But if we take a look at this chart, bam, this one, this chart, you can see these red dots. Juman created the first red dot in this chart. This was around 9,100, I think. Then the July month created the second red dot. This was around 11,300 US dollar per Bitcoin. And then August created this third red dot and closed around 11,655. 
and now September we created the fourth red dot fourth 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 the fourth red dot and this fourth red dot is now hovering around 11,880 so these red dots are an indicator of the start of the bull run look to the left on this chart to the left if you look to the left on this chart take a look at the last bull run and start to count these red dots and then if you look at these red dots after these red dots you see orange dots and after the orange dots you see yellow dots these yellow dots are always the top of the next bull run so the red dots give an indication okay we are slowly starting then you get these orange dots which will take the Bitcoin price steeply up and then you get these yellow dots which will create the next all-time high and then also indicate the top of the next bull run and if you count these dots in the previous bull run we saw eight red dots we just created the fourth red dots which is an indicator that we still have four months left before we go into this orange area so four more red dots means four more months four more months will bring us all the way to september no october november december january again this area december january where we could see the start of the steep rise in the bitcoin price into these orange dots and then the yellow dots the orange dots in the previous bull run were about five slash six ish you can't see the difference very clearly because they are flowing in from orange into yellow but it was about five six months of yellow dots so if these red dots would end in january then about five six months of yellow of orange dots will follow up so that will put us in february march april may june july ish and in a july is somewhere we would see orange turning into yellow and that will take some another four dots so august july and then get august september october november so if we would copy the last bull run we would see a peak somewhere in september october 2021 and the peak should be around 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin if we would keep following this chart and yes this might sound insane to you guys but believe me this chart has been working like a clock so what might sound insane to you guys if you look to the left on this chart you can see the history and the history shows us that this chart has been correct through the last 11 years so for me it's not strange to accept or difficult to accept that we are going to follow this chart in the future as well so for me yes we could reach a 100k bitcoin price next year september october if we would copy the last year's bull run it can take a few months longer it can take a few months less we don't know no one knows but if it is up to this chart it would be september october next year so again thank you plan b for creating this amazing chart i love the chart and yes like we agreed last time i was in the netherlands we will soon drink a cup of coffee together when we will meet somewhere on this beautiful world thumbs up for plan b and this amazing stock to flow chart that was the bitcoin information for today if you enjoyed these charts give the video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel share it with your friends and communities because we need to reach 10k subscribers as soon as possible i would love to see a 10k youtube channel for the bitcoin family and please leave a comment about the charts if you agree with them or don't agree with them just comment below we need to educate each other because that is the strength of a crypto community educating each other we are going to change this monetary system together not alone not one project not two projects all the projects all the communities together will change this monetary system and will create a beautiful new monetary system that we can leave behind for the next generations after us and talking about the next generation yes i already spent some time about this in the last videos because i think we are fighting for freedom at the moment and did you see these peaceful demonstrations all over the world probably you didn't see them because mass media is not showing you these beautiful peaceful 
revolutionary demonstrations in Berlin, in London. I don't understand why the mass media is not showing this. I don't understand why the mass media is just telling you, oh, there were a few thousand people in Berlin. There were a few thousand people in London. It wasn't a few thousand people. It was hundreds of thousands of people, like you can see in these videos. Bam! Oh my God, do you see the amount of people here walking in Berlin on the streets? This is not a few thousand people. These are ten thousands to one hundred thousands of people asking in a very peaceful way, fighting in a very peaceful way for their freedom. They don't want all these rules anymore. They don't want to be treated like animals in cages in quarantine. They don't want to wear these face masks. They just want a free life like it was before this whole flu craze. So you can see on these videos, yes in Berlin, massive amount of people. Yes in London, massive amount of people, gatherings. I think we will see these gatherings all over the world asking very peacefully for the governments to pay attention to what the people want and not to do what they want. Because we chose the governments to lead the countries and we chose them because we trusted them to do right and because we trusted them to do what we as the people want. So now we as the people are telling you governments, we don't want all these rules. We know that you thought that this whole COVID thing would be very deadly, deadly virus. But you can admit now that you were wrong. Yes, a lot of people died. I feel so sorry for all those people. But again, these people would probably also have died with another flu. It wasn't COVID. It wasn't a killer virus like you just saw in the American numbers. Only 6% of the 150,000 people that died in the United States died directly of COVID. The other 94% had multiple diseases. And of these 94%, about 90% were in elderly homes and daycare homes. Yes, I know I sound harsh, but please people, we also need to be honest to each other. And I need to share my opinion because I am a freedom fighter. And yes, I never worry. I'm always happy, but still, I want to leave a beautiful world for my children. And the only way I can leave a beautiful world for my children is, I, is if I stand up to my rights. That is why I will add this beautiful poem again to this video in the description. Please read this poem. This poem is stating exactly what I feel, how we as parents should be acting now, because else we all would be leaving this poem to our kids and we don't want it. So spend some time to read this poem. It will take you a minute to understand why I think we should fight for freedom. And again, yes, I think COVID is a flu and I think it's a very harsh flu. It is indeed killing a lot of people. But after almost a year, we can see in many countries that the average amount of people dying in a year didn't increase tremendously. Maybe more people died of this COVID now and less people died of different other flus. So in average, most countries didn't see a spike in the amount of people dying yearly. So beautiful to see that this peaceful demonstrations in Berlin and London, and I think we probably will see more of them in the near future.
And that is also the reason why I tweeted yesterday, guys, which country should we go to if you want to stay there for the next two months? And yes, it needs to be a country where I can walk freely across the streets without wearing this face mask, where the sun is shining, where we have some beaches and a beautiful culture to explore. I tweeted this yesterday and there were a lot of reactions. Thank you for all the reactions. Comments showed me um, that we should go to or Portugal, Greece, or Croatia of which Portugal I think is the only one that we can go to without quarantine I think Greece already has quarantine Croatia I'm not sure so comment below if I'm wrong so we slowly started to search for a house in Portugal if one of you guys knows a beautiful place in the Ar in the Algarve area because that one is the most sunny area in September and October so if some of you know a beautiful place to stay or a beautiful town or maybe you have a friend there with a holiday home that we can rent for two months please let me know because we would love to find a beautiful place in Portugal to spend there some months and speak to some Bitcoin people over there as well and investigate how this whole Bitcoin industry is developing in Portugal. But if it comes to our health, we should probably go to Switzerland because in Switzerland, a health insurance company just announced that we can pay them in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yes, you heard me correct. We can pay our monthly health insurance with Bitcoin and Ethereum in Switzerland now. I think the company is called Atupri and they are working together with Bitcoin Swiss. So Bitcoin Swiss is facilitating the Bitcoin and Ethereum payments for Atupri health insurance company in Switzerland. Talking about a health insurance company, we have a safety wing health insurance. This is a beautiful insurance if you travel the world. This insurance covers all the costs you need as a digital nomad. This is the perfect health insurance for digital nomads. You can't pay with Bitcoins yet, but I've been asking them many times if I'm able, if they want to change this. And maybe in the future they will change this, but if you're searching as a digital nomad for a perfect health insurance and it's covering everything you need as a digital nomad, take a look at Safety Wing. Yes, we have a referral link and if you use our referral link, of course, you get a discount into this health insurance. So make sure to read the description below this video because there you can find the link to this amazing Safety Wing health insurance for digital nomads. And yes, this health insurance company is created by digital nomads so they know exactly what the need is of a digital nomad so that is why i chose this insurance company above all the other ones because one the price is perfect and two they cover everything we need as a digital nomad and you can start and end the subscription on a monthly base so you are not bound to a yearly contract or whatever you can stop and start whenever you want so perfect health insurance for digital nomads click our referral link and receive a discount to this health insurance as long we can't pay these health insurance and all these bills with uh, bitcoin or ethereum directly yes we will use these bitcoin debit cards to do so binance just announced that they are going to take another step with their bitcoin debit card they are going to go into the us of course they bought swipe and now swipe made this new cooperation together with another company that will make it able for people to deposit us dollars directly into binance and into these debit cards so these binance debit cards i think going to are going to be really cool in the future and um, i am talking already to binance and maybe i will be one of the testers that is going to test this binance card because guys yes we as a family really use these cards on a daily basis because we don't own bank accounts anymore so sometimes we need to use the crypto debit cards looking forward to start to try and test this Binance debit card. Did you read the news about Vitalik? Yes, Vitalik from Ethereum. He just tweeted and he just wrote an article. Guys, be aware for this whole DeFi hype because all these DeFi projects are comparable to the Fed in the United States. They just print an unlimited amount of money. Vitalik now saying these DeFi projects are just doing the same. They are copying exactly that system, that printing money system that we want to fight against as crypto community. I still need to get my head around this whole DeFi thing and, it, and Vitalik's opinion, but I tend to agree with Vitalik that if it comes to the true fundamentals of why Bitcoin and blockchain was created, that these DeFi projects, yes, are just copying this monetary system where just 
unlimited money can be printed like the Fed is doing. And we all know to what that has resulted now. Because that is exactly why in 2009 we saw this huge crash and why Bitcoin started to be born. And now these DeFi projects are doing exactly the same that the Fed is doing. Just printing, printing, printing. And this continuous minting of all these DeFi coins will create this huge um, supply inflation of all these governance tokens. And that again would put downward pressure on all these prices of these non-stop printable coins to pay liquidity providers. So yes, that would be an exact copy of what the Fed is doing and we don't want to see this in blockchain or Bitcoin if we want to respect the true fundamentals of these two tools that are going to change the whole monetary system and will take us to the next monetary system like I refer to as the monetary system 2.0. So I will spend some time in reading all these blog posts and everything because I want to get my head around this and I want to give my best opinion possible to what I think that is going to happen to this industry because of this DeFi hype. So yes, I tend to agree with Vitalik that we are copying a system that we shouldn't be copying, copying but let's see how it will develop. And by the way, this is also the reason why we can see that the amount of wrapped Bitcoin WBTC wrapped Bitcoin. I don't know if I pronounce it right because I need to pronounce the R wrapped, wrapped, wrapped Bitcoins. I don't know. <laughs> wrapped Bitcoins has doubled in August. Check this chart. Bam. On this chart, you can see that this amount of wrapped Bitcoins has doubled. And what is a wrapped Bitcoin? A wrapped Bitcoin is a Bitcoin transferred to the Ethereum blockchain and it then swapped one BTC to one WBTC. So this Bitcoin then gets locked on the Ethereum blockchain, nobody can use it, and then people can start to use instead this wrapped Bitcoin. And why would you choose to use a wrapped Bitcoin? Because that will make it possible to use your Bitcoin with the same features the ERC20 tokens from the Ethereum blockchain are providing you with. So then you can use your Bitcoin to lend your Bitcoin to other people, for example, and make some interest by doing so, or you can use it to trade on decentralized exchanges on DEX so I will take another look at this whole wrapped Bitcoin thing and I will keep you up to date on my findings on that one as well. That was the video for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video and all these beautiful views, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your communities, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. We need to educate each other and that is how we as a community become stronger. Thanks for watching and always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.